you can see the crab's back. In that little dark haunting space there, one day and five hours. Okay, this just popped up yesterday. This is great news. I am in a good position. I have some powder. I'm going to use the powder that I have. See, I have eight there. To boost when I'm ready to kill the crab. To boost my resource reward and boost my power stone chance for maximum rewards just about when I'm ready to kill the crab and not before um, downside is I don't have any gems because ideally you've got three hours when you do your boost ideally you want to get in as many attacks as possible so if you lose some troops it's good to have some gems to just do a quick top up of your troops and attack straight away again if you're going to boost it's good to time that ideally with your doctor terror attacks because then you're going to get a double you're going to get a double reward so that's my plan of attack crab two days in the meantime i'm not going to use my statue powder Potentially, I could save a few easy bases to attack the crab. If you don't have any troops ready to attack the crab and your time is running out, you can always just deploy your um, shore barrage, take out the crab, especially if you're running out of your boost. Ideally, we're going to get a, a lot of resources really quick. What's going to happen is you're going to probably upgrade your troops and your armory. Potentially could take you anywhere up to a day, two days. In that two days, that might be the only time the crab's alive. So if you have a lot of gold left, ideally your radar is, and you have a few bases, a few regions on the map left to explore. So I've got a few there which are quite expensive. So they're just going to be a quick, quick removal of the resources you might have to use a bit of powder on your defenses. Time to attack Dr. Terror. Come on down.